Adding brilliant white spot effects and other embellishments to your creative palette is easy with the Xerox iGen 5 press and its white dry ink. In this video, we'll show you how to use white to add visual appeal and function to applications printed on both colored and transparent media. First, we're going to up the seasonal charm of this color stock holiday postcard by adding white dry ink in a few simple steps. Let's begin working in Adobe Illustrator. First, add a new color in the swatches palette, identifying 100% magenta as white. Designate it as a CMYK spot color. The name white is case sensitive, so be sure to type it exactly as shown here. Select the elements you want to print as white. Fill with the white spot color. Next, select the CMYK elements and set the transparency to multiply. When your file is ready to be saved for print, save it as an Adobe PDF following these specific instructions. From the main menu, select File, Save As, Adobe PDF, and Save. Under Adobe PDF Preset, select Press Quality. Then, under General Settings, set the compatibility to Adobe Acrobat 7 or higher. Be sure Create Acrobat Layers is selected. On the Compression tab, set Color Images to Do Not Downsample. For Compression, choose JPEG and set Image Quality to Maximum. Use the same settings for grayscale images. For monochrome images, choose CCITT Group 4. Set up with crop marks and bleeds if necessary. That's all there is to it. Be sure to ask your print provider for a proof to ensure your final design appears exactly as you intended. You might want to print white over CMYK. For example, to create an opaque background behind text or graphics on transparent media, like a window cling. Create a white layer, being sure to follow the case-sensitive naming convention discussed earlier. Then, create your white overlay by copying and pasting in place on the white layer and choking slightly to account for possible registration variation. The press will automatically print the white layer over your CMYK layer in a second pass. Be sure your print operator is aware of your intent and check a proof to ensure optimal results. White dry ink can be printed under CMYK to enhance images and add more value to jobs. White dry ink on dark cover stock is highly effective, but CMYK elements printed on darker stocks don't always appear as intended. White dry ink solves this issue, allowing you to add brighter, more accurate images, like photographs, to projects printed on color stocks. Here, we'll place the white layer beneath the CMYK layer and create our white underlay by copying and pasting the appropriate shape in place and choking slightly to account for possible registration variation. Now in the CMYK layer, select the CMYK art. Then in the effects palette, Select Multiply and save your file using the same PDF settings discussed earlier. If you find you want to add a second hit of white for added opacity, you'll need to create a white-only file, so only the white elements will print twice. Be sure to review the design and file preparation guide for more examples and detailed instructions for creating high-value, high-impact applications with white dry ink on the Xerox iGen 5 press. For more how-to videos, go to Xerox.com Creative.